Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I've got a package in the mail. Well, that's stronger tape than I expected. I thought I was just going to poke right through that with an ink pen. And I'll be right back. That's some serious tape. They weren't playing around in this pack. This is something I special ordered. I got a box of peanuts. It's not exactly what I ordered. I'm going to have to get something to put that into. Okay. In here is something from a company some of you guys know. Batteryhookup.com I'm not promoting them. I have nothing to do with them. I'm not affiliated. I'm a customer. I just made a purchase. I am going to be experimenting with some really cool things here once I get to them. I bought a whole mass of batteries, lithium ion battery packs. They're pretty heavy actually. So this is a um, lithium polymer battery, 4 volts. 4400 milliamp hours 17.6 watt hours that's pretty impressive reading for a little battery pack it's pretty heavy um, no idea what they were would have been from I might look up the model number later but I got a whole mess of these they got quite a heft to them actually I, I don't know I'm gonna have to double check the listing I don't know if they were used or new or what, but this is one heavy box. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's a lot. Eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to count the rest of these off camera and I'll come back in a with the totals in a minute. And then here's another battery pack um, I don't know if there's any yeah here we are it's got oh this is an 8.4 volts at 2200 milliamp hours 8.4 volts at 2200 milliamp hours I don't know if that's focusing focus oh well, anyway I'll take my word for it these are, there's two 18650s in here, 3.7 volts times 2, I don't know how they get 8.4 volts, because I know it's two 18650s in here, in this little pack. I'm not doing well with showing you my uh, stuff here. So, there's a whole mess of these that I ordered as well. I've got a whole mess of these guys here. A lot. I'm really going to have to just lay these out and count them later. It's a whole box. The price was really good. And then when you added the shipping up, the shipping was actually it was worthwhile to order more rather than less. So I actually placed a larger order because once you get like a set amount of shipping, $17 or so, it didn't go up as it was adding all these packs and so I just went hog wild on this, and I uh, I got a whole box of them. So let me take a minute to count these, make sure I got them everything I ordered. So I bought uh, just did a count. I bought thirty of these, these uh, four volt, forty four hundred milliamp hour lithium ion battery packs. Thirty of these at seventeen. 0.6 watt hours and I'm going to do some math and come back to you in a minute when I'm done and I've got 40 if I counted right of these little guys the uh, 8.4 volts 2200 milliamp hours um, these little guys don't have wires on them to the outsides oh it's from an Aris is that a uh, modem I think that's a modem battery Aris it's a backup battery so they look new I gotta double check all the specs on these. They were normally these are what secondhand batteries. So I've got 40 of these, and 
I'm going to open a couple up, see how they look, see how hard it is to open these up. So if you take all these together at their base voltage, 4, point, uh, 4 volts at 4400 milliamp hours, that's 4.4 .4 amp hours. I have a total of 132 amp hours at 4 volts. That is insane. Now if I take these batteries and I put four together, let's push them aside, and I put them in sets of four to make 16 volt sets, it'd be four, eight, 12, 16 volt packs to um, be used in my off-grid solar power system, then I'll have a total of 30.8, uh, about 30 amp hours, 31 amp hours of battery capacity with all this combined. Now considering though that it's um, lithium polymer, that's a uh, long cell life for these. So 30 amp hours, well, that's not bad. You can do a lot with that much power. So this is going to be fun. The hardest part for me is going to be to decide which way I want to configure these and what I want to use them in. Because I could make a really amazing portable battery pack with all these. I may end up just doing that, making my own portable power unit. Now with these little guys here, I've got 40 of these little battery packs. Now, there's, I'm pretty sure there's a 3.7 volt batteries inside, but for some odd reason they're showing 8.4 volts DC on the pack at 2.2 amp hours. Taking these into sets of two, which would give me 16 volts, but I highly doubt that's, that's the right rating. But taking these in sets of two to give me 16.8 volts would give me 44 amp hours of battery capacity with all of these. 44 amp hours. So that's also pretty impressive. Now, let me redo the math at 3.7 volts because I'm sure that's what's in, what's in here. Even if these are 3.7 volt lithium ion 18650s, which I'm pretty sure they are. I could be wrong. Even if they are, that's 14.8 um, volts uh, with, with two of these sets. 14.8 volts. So that's still acceptable for solar power use. 14.8 is is pretty good acceptable range for solar power use. And that would give me 44 amp hours of, of power at 14.8 volts so not bad so I've got here a total of 40 70 amp hours of capacity all together here of lithium ions that's not bad I should go for a kilowatt I should have just went up for a whole kilowatt but I'm pretty sure I can get some good use out of these and apply them to my solar power, my off-grid solar power systems in some way. Now I just got to figure out which way I want to configure them. This is exciting though, all these batteries, all that. So I just opened up one of these battery packs and I just stuck this cardboard back on like that. This was under here. Anyway, I got two Samsung 2200 milliamp hour 18650 batteries like I thought and a cool little BMS circuit in there which I will probably end up putting to use somewhere I just have to figure out which of these pins is are connected to the battery and then I'll be able to reuse this uh, maybe solder on on the back somewhere I guess I'll just use a, a meter find out which of them is the uh, plus and which is minus it is a very low current though charging current at 0.115 amp charge so it does reduce you to a very low charging current on your battery so it's very very gentle on the batteries anyway so I'm thinking about keeping these intact and running these guys in uh, series to get my my voltage I need and keeping these why waste any more money there they are 
and uh, I think that's pretty cool. Then if any unit fails, you've got redundancy. You can pop that whole unit out and put a whole new, another one in. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about so far, and that's what it looks like. I'll probably do some um, opening videos on these later on and show you how I did it. It was really simple once I figured out what I was doing. A um, little experimentation and uh, popped open pretty easy without any damage to the batteries at all. So I'll probably do a separate video on that. Anyway, there you go, guys. I got some really cool battery packs to play with in my off-grid solar-powered home. So thanks for watching. I hope somebody finds this uh, helpful. And definitely it is interesting. Please like, subscribe, and share. And hit that uh, bell icon to get notifications when I upload videos. I did not have internet for five months. So sorry about that uh, time I missed in between. But I'm back. I'm online again. And we are having fun with circuits, batteries, and electronics, and alternate energy. Talk to you all later.